What's up? All right. I guess we're in here. I'm still throwing out invites to anybody who wants to uh, stop in, but um, all I really plan on doing is getting some work done on uh, this here pick. Uh, I was penciling, uh, playing around in a sketchbook in my sketchbook last night. And um, I was, well, this is what I uh, came up with. Uh, this is a, a character that uh, Julius Freeman is um, is putting out his project, the Ghetto Dragon. And I've never really done quote unquote fan art before, but I figured, uh, you know, if you're if you're gonna want to, you know, pencil in, draw some fighting styles and things like that, then maybe you want to have a uh, martial arts guy uh, figure to 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 work off of. Um, and this particular one, I think, and I don't know if you'd be able to tell the difference. I messed with his the one leg that's up in the air. I think this was too big and too long. And uh, this is usually something that happens. You know, you walk away from a piece, you come back to it, and you see uh, certain things are out of proportion that you would <clears throat> like to have corrected uh, at the time. So uh, I'm going to go through and do that. But right now, I'm just kind of throwing out some uh some invites to people who may want to if they got if they got free time and i'm just kind of surprising uh people in uh, messages with a uh, some links to come on in and talk about some shit uh stuff i'm just <clears throat> throwing a couple of them and then i will probably um Yeah, I'll probably leave it at that. Um, but, uh, yep. <clears throat> Post it on Twitter. There's a link to come see the chat for what it's worth. And now, um, man, I tell you what, how easy it is to get uh, sucked into to Twitter. All right, get rid of that. <clears throat> Anyways, my name is Dave Webster. I am an artist. I've always wanted to do comic books, but somehow I got on the uh, another track. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Mm. Trying to work with my iPad here. I, I always hook this thing up and then. Uh... Yeah. Gotcha. All right. It's a coming. Ah, oh, great. All right, finally. Look what I can do! Look what I can do! Look what I can do! Um, so, what I've got going on here over in Photoshop, the Ghetto Dragon, I've got some, uh, uh, what am I working with here? Let's see, it's, it doesn't look like it lets you see my menus that are out. So I can't show you the brush that I'm using. Yeah, it doesn't look like it lets you do that. I might have to uh, stop sharing the screen and, and reshare it. But for right now, uh, what it is is uh, it's basically it's supposed to be an ink brush. I'm using a Wacom uh, Intuos 3 <clears throat> um, at 450 DPI on this one particular file. And I've already gone into the system settings and tried to uh, tweak out the pressure sensitivity on the on the tablet itself uh, i would like to be able to get a little bit more of a, of a of a tapered line right here um yeah i don't think it's gonna let me show you unless it's just the whole thing yeah see that kind of doesn't make any sense why share the application screen if you can't see what's going on. So let's see, stop, share, screen one, and maybe that'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah, you can actually see what's going on here. I'll just maximize this there. 
Right. So, um, yeah, I know I'm in, I'm in, I'm in pretty close, but, um, this is, I don't know if it's like the best that I can expect, uh, from the technology that I have. Uh, but it feels so much clunkier, uh, Photoshop and this particular brush, it feels so much clunkier than on my iPad. Now, this isn't the newest computer in the world. It is a 2008 Mac, but it's, um, I think it's a three point something gigahertz. There's two, uh, two CPUs. The RAM has been maxed out and I just installed a two terabyte solid state hard drive. And I've gone through and tweaked out as much of Photoshop as I can. Um, but the one thing that I really miss, and it's probably, you know, it goes a lot to saying uh, what kind of a crutch it is, but when when Procreate has that um, stroke smoothing, um, I can draw a basic oval and hold the stylus uh, and hold hold the the Apple Pen onto the onto the iPad, and it will snap itself into a perfect ellipse uh, which is great for drawing cars and things like that but i mean that's and you know traditionally that kind of stuff doesn't happen um and the main reason why i'm working in this program now is because i want to be able to um just because i'm streaming basically at uh at any rate and for those who are going to be seeing this in the future let me on to my Indiegogo here, and I'll uh, post the link. Post the link for this book. Oh my God, oh my God! As if my aim was any worse with a mouse. Holy crap! Let's go down and find this thing. Man, six pages. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link to the book right in here. And there's there, there's a there's a lot of discipline to this stuff that I'm I'm really just not getting. I mean, and I mean like the streaming. And I, mean, I bothered to write out a decent description. Uh, and then I failed to put it in when it asked me to in StreamYard. You know, like, here's my website, here's my social media, blah, 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 blah. I go through all that and then, you know, turn the camera on, flick this switch, uh, press that button, click that box, whatever. And then, you know, forget to go into my stickies and copy and paste that into the, into the description, which is the whole reason why I bothered to create in the first place. I just realized that. Man, does that piss me off. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just, I don't want to say I'm not, I don't want to say lost in the dark, but. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely seeing areas where. And, and some of this might be due to the fact that I moved a leg and shortened the leg. In fact, I think I, I turned it up a little bit. And that's why this um, this this one spot right here that brush, this one spot right here looks bent and it shouldn't it should go straight across. Uh, let me go to layers. Let me turn this, put a white background in here. DX that. Hold on. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, turn the background into a back into a layer. This is usually how I do it. I'll just cover it in white and turn this one down so that I'm not getting that checkerboard pattern in in the background. So, All right, I like that better. 
not as uh, it's not as distracting. Yeah, um, the straight lines, the ellipses, uh, the stuff that um, Procreate lets you do with the and the, the brushes feel much more natural. And of course, you're not drawing on a pad; you're drawing on the iPad. get the cut get the colors right so let's see if I can do this and talk at the same time yeah I'm definitely gonna be getting the uh yeah it just it it feels so wonky like you know it's it puts um puts media down or pixels down or the stroke or whatever in places like the like the lightest touch um, and there's no resistance to this Wacom tablet. It's just, it feels so, it feels so slick on my iPad. I, I put a, uh, you know, a, a flat screen, like a matte finish glass protector on there, screen protector. So it feels like paper and it's not the real paper one. It's something else. It's a much better, uh, screen protector, much better. Um, it doesn't, doesn't scratch as much feels good and they give you two or three of them in the in the package uh some of these guys like uh, like paper feel uh, if you get one uh, it's twice as much now do your research and um you know look at some reviews and stuff all right so what am i doing i'm i'm trying to overthink folds here let me bump this up so i can cover more area The uh, Matt Matt Guerra, I guess I'm 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 I think I'm pronouncing that right. Is uh, it's like a love letter to Bruce Lee movies. And uh, so I, I wanted to uh, you know do some what do you call it? do some fan art now. Julius Freeman, who created this book, is uh, helping me uh, um, write my my story. And I've never done any uh, kind of writing before. Um, it's it's um, it's odd, you know. You 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 sit down and you think that you're going to be you know putting in some a couple of lines uh, uh, here and there, and then figure the figure the rest of it out on paper. You know that whole Marvel method. You know, be vague and stuff. But then I sit down and I start thinking about the different scenarios and I want the characters to be realistic and not so real that they're boring um, but I, uh, I I don't want there to be any of that like like you're watching a Neil Breen movie like no nope, humans don't do that human beings don't act that way um, I want to make sure that uh, that that's that that's happening too fat. Let's see if I like this brush better. Yeah, the color's all wrong. Uh, brushes, ink, brush one. Be a little bit bigger. back out and see what that looks like yeah see i don't know i gotta get into this fabric folds uh thing more uh, there's something there's something i'm missing it's like when uh when i started learning how to paint real fire you know i had to keep doing it over and over and over again until i i i, I had something i felt like was a was a, a real natural look you know but still it still looked really cool. But 
I hope everybody's having a good New Year's day. Um, the first thing my wife and I did today was uh, pay off this house. I'm very happy about that. Um, I honestly, uh, I don't, I don't feel any different. I, I imagine it's going to be something that, uh, that I, I really noticed whenever the next, uh, mortgage payment comes due and that I don't have to, because I've done them all. And, um, start, uh, looking into getting this, uh, this house to do some work for us uh, for a change. Yeah, see, like, I, I, if I was throwing this line on a piece of paper, it wouldn't feel so unstable. Yeah, I might have to just upgrade this tablet. I mean, it's, it's, it's been really serviceable for a long time. I haven't had a mouse pad in forever. I've always had something like this. Even the small ones on older computers, you know, when I couldn't afford a, you know, big badass one. But, um, you know, like the 2008 Mac, this one is, is, is probably just, it's, it's, I think it's just holding me back um, as far as, you know, as far as this kind of work goes. But uh, I want to do some traditional. I want to, you know, get down on Procreate and, and, and get much better at that. But, uh, man... The, uh, the amount of time to devote to all this is... So I want this to be even darker. Yeah, who knows? This is all an experiment anyways. Yeah, I wish this would taper off more. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. When I, when I go into... Um, let me see if I can if this if this shows up right. All right, go into all right the tablet here. I'm looking at the pen. Okay, you guys can see this. This is going to tell me what the pen pressure is. Okay, um, this is this is more than I usually put on on something. I have, really have to be cranking it down, at, uh, to to you know to get that to max out. Now I can you know customize this thing, but if you can see up in this corner over here how angular these are, if I just kind of do a stroke and let it taper off, it's not very smooth to begin with. You know, so what do I, I, I want to try to, uh, you know, mess with this. And, and but you, you, if you can see what I mean, there's this uh, very angular, um, I, I'm, it's not interpreting my stroke. It, it's just, it, it's this bad representation uh, of it. So, yeah, it's just, it's just ugly. Um, I'm hoping that uh, if I do upgrade into another, another tablet, um, I'll, I'll get some better results. But yeah, the, the taper to the line is just uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, and then some of that's just going to be, you know, me and my, me and my technique. But I can, I can show you guys some finished work that I did today. Um, I was, well, after the, over the last uh, couple of weeks and then it wasn't last night during the, no, it was uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, I clear coded it. So if anybody's familiar with, um, it's called a, uh, a Harley Freewheeler. It is a it is a trike. It is a motorcycle that is a three wheeled uh, yeah three wheeled motorcycle. <clears throat> okay, let me pull these things up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring this over here in front of you guys. Uh, so this is basically it's the it's it's the trunk lid right here. As you see, where my that's where the um, the key goes, 
and uh, this is uh, maybe roughly two feet by a little less than one foot. <clears throat> and this is, you know, day one, just kind of like sanding it off, taping it, and then uh, getting some quick sketch lines in there, you know, what the bridge is going to be going over, there's going to be stones and stuff, and kind of just laying this thing out. And uh, then uh, putting some color in. I spent most of my time here on the trees and the sky. And then just kind of, again, sort of slapped all this together just to give myself a little bit more of a, um, an idea of what's going to go where. Um, this was the uh, Bob Ross effect. I get some happy fall trees in there. A lot of tapping. A lot of mixing with color. And then... Uh, finishing it off with uh, the you know the fence, more leaves. Um, I believe after that it was time to do the yeah, put the trike in. <clears throat> the old headless horseman trike, and you can see the pumpkins. I did the pumpkins. I uh, tried to make this covered bridge not look so much like it was uh, falling off the edge of the ravine, but. Uh, uh, put shadows, you know, cast shadows in the trees, and then I clear coated it. You know, there's the uh, the close up. The trick here being that everywhere on this trike that you see red is the color of the trike that I'm painting on. So technically, there's no paint here, here, or here, or here. So that was the last uh, a big uh, commission that I that I did. Let's see, maybe if I go the other way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it seems uh, it seems stiff and jagged and uh, not very and not very smooth. Yeah, see, like that's that's a little bit better. This taper, okay. And this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. I know you can see it's like kind of like pixely, but. I just don't know if it's the tablet or if it's the computer itself that is lacking just a little bit of processing power that it doesn't know how to interpret some of these uh, finer movements that I'm trying to make. Um, I can, you know, I mean, the, the, the surface of this, I mean, there's, there's space on here. Where you, I don't know if you can see with the light, but yeah, you know, there's some space on here that you can see has been, you know, worn on over, over time. And it's not super rough, but I think sometimes, you know, the, the pen might actually be finding areas to, to kind of a slot racer itself and, uh, and, and skip over and um, not make the line that I planned on making. I don't even know that I'm just, I'm just messing around with strokes right here. I don't think it, should be anything other than other than black. Okay, so let's see. Oh, well, if it's going to be like a satin thing, then it really doesn't need to have hash marks on it. I mean, I'm like overthinking the texture of the fabric, make drawing that is black and white. You know, hey, let me try this right here because, like, that taper, see how it's got this, like, rounded, you know, rounded tip? Um, I want the computer to interpret something more like that. When I take the, uh, if I take it off, if I take it off too fast, okay, now check it out. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Some of these tips are round, you know, 
brush tip shape settings in the i don't know it I, I i went through a whole bunch of different youtube videos on um whole bunch of different youtube videos on making an inking brush and um some of the settings i understood uh some of the settings didn't make sense and you know and every single one of these you know these these videos these how to's was you know you're just gonna have to figure out what works best for yourself and i think a different tablet is what's gonna work best i hear um jimmy ray is talking about i think he works on a cintiq not sure but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to spend a ton of uh, time and energy getting this one aspect of it perfect. When what I should be doing is, um, you know, the 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 next best step to moving forward. Uh, I, I know it's a long process, but um, let me get out of here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, and if the and if the tablet on the table is not parallel with the monitor itself, it makes your, you know, you think you're, you know, pulling a line. I just I turned like forty five degrees. This is me pulling a line straight down is going crooked on, on this guy. So when your tablet's not straight, um, that messes with your. See, I'm going to lower, get this a little bit lower here. Uh, but I, I, I haven't been streaming and I wanted to get something out there. So I figured why not, um, and I was doing some doing some uh, with uh, Purple Smurf last night. Uh, he pulled out some really cool manga stuff uh, for us to concentrate on. And um, I'm not actually sure what happened. I think he was on a, they had a, like a limited time frame uh, to get certain stuff done. But uh, yeah, you know, wanted to make sure we get got to keep getting that content out there. You gotta, you know. You want something out of life? You gotta put yourself out there. Keep forgetting that I have that over there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically um, trying to do these this racing stripe uh, sweatshirt. The um, I think it, the the game of death uniform uh, that uh, Matt Guerra wears. Oh, or an interpretation of it. It's not always a. It's not always a sweatshirt. I don't think I, I, I'm not even, I don't, I don't know if, um, I don't know if uh, Julius is a on model type of person or if he likes it when uh, people uh, interpret uh, his character in a, in a different way, uh, similar, but different. I might be trying to uh, trying to settle into some kind of a style here. Or at least get used to the get used to the feel of this thing. Uh, I think that's the Uh, uh, come on, give me the stroke I want. Am I doing this right? That's always the question that's going through my head. Am I doing this right? And uh, yeah, I think 
people say, well, you know, as long as you're having fun and, you know, as overcritical as I am about stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I am or not. Um, having fun. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. Um, but, you know, we got vacation time. Uh, my wife is upstairs watching some TV. I know I'm going to want to take a break from this at some point. And, and uh, you know, we just played a game uh, with, the, with the little one and want to spend some time together she she's watching something on hbo she's watching what is it or is it prime that hugh grant nicole kidman thing and from what i understand it really is supposed to suck you in but and i can appreciate a good story i just i don't know if i if i want the just come on i just don't know if i want the distraction yet You know, I know I'm not going to have this thing done uh, the, the whole way. Let's see. All right. Yeah, and um, the sigh that he has in his hand here has more to do with um uh me going like i, I kind of like this hand position i don't necessarily get it i was trying to do like a you know a, uh some kind of a something that looked like uh you you know you can tell what style of martial art the uh the characters uh <clears throat> the style of martial art that the characters using. wax on Wax off. Um, and I ended up, I'm like, you know what? A Psy, uh, Psy prongs would probably, uh, probably fit in there. I think this hand is probably too fat because the fingers are all uh, spread out, or at least it looks that way. Yeah, I'm trying to keep in mind that uh, I think my light is coming from uh, is coming from the right, which is not it, that's unusual for me. Usually, I have my la my light coming from the upper left. Um, but he's facing towards action, so that's where I want the light to be coming from. Yeah, I feel like it's like um, it's like a thing where it kind of like wastes. Uh, that doesn't waste it. Uh, it's 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 lacking in a, some sort of a, a. It's not dynamic enough. There's no natural. It doesn't feel. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like I was. I was doing it. It looks like it's been put through a coffee filter. Yeah, so he's got this sweatshirt kind of vest thing happening. 
yeah, it's just there's no. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just I can't get it to I can't get it to look like I'm that it feels right. It doesn't look like it feels right. Actually, it looks like um, it looks like a fight. You know, like it. Uh, I, I'm not under the. I, I, I'm. I just want to be understood by my computer, and I'm not getting it. Like that right there. I want to be able to. I want to be able to whip this line off. You know, how many tries does it take? You know, that's that's going to be something that if it doesn't feel right, it's just going to make it feel like work. In fact, I'm. I, I actually I feel like I want to. You know, end this. That was nice, but I, there's a there's a lag. Yeah, I don't even know if a new um, a new tablet would be it. I might have to at some point throw down for a faster Mac. Then I'm gonna end up with hoarding more hard drives and. Geez, if the RAM that I've got in this, I'm not going to upgrade to a computer that doesn't take this style RAM. I can't stand when they do that. Like all the RAM that you had in that computer, now you're going to upgrade and all that RAM that you bought and put in that computer is going to be just worthless. Yeah, what am, where am I at? 35. I'm going to give it another uh 10 minutes and if uh nobody comes in i'm not going to worry about it i'm going to go upstairs spend some time with my beautiful wife and stay up to an absolutely nonsensible hour I can hear the imperfections in the plastic. Ugh, why am I even bothering? <laughs> this is just, this is just, if I wasn't saying this out loud, I would be thinking it, you know? And uh, I don't want anybody to like think that they have to hang themselves after they heard me going. There's so many different things at play. You know, the tools that I'm using, the technique that I'm, uh, that I'm doing and and uh, I might be suffering from straight up uh, impatience. It's one of the things I loved about doing t-shirts is the designs. Uh, they didn't take very long at all and uh, you didn't have you didn't have time to get bored uh, you didn't have time to you know you know look at a drawing and and really just go eh, i don't know about this or or i don't know about that because it was a freaking t-shirt nobody really cared Uh, my field help me. It's a joke if, if anybody's paying attention. Let's see. See now? All right. What's, what am I looking at here?
this is all going to be black. I wonder if I can just like kind of sew this up here. Look for any missing. Oh, come on. What did I hit? Wasn't there a paint bucket in here somewhere? Come on. Is it in the brush? Stamp? Somebody tell me. Clone? Eraser? God, it used to be... Perfect. gradient tool. Oops, don't want to do that. All right, I got you. There's this annoying thing. I wonder if there's a opacity tolerance. Maybe that's what it is. So I'll do, uh, I'll put it, at, put it at 50 and then See how it feels there. If I get any of this white junk, these white artifacts around the side. Just playing around. Look at this. Spinning beach ball. Anybody else see that? What's that all about? I'm running scratch disks all and um I am a hard drive hoarder. Um all the things, yeah, you know, I'll I'll throw out the rest of the computer, but not that, not that. This Bill Belichick look here with these torn, tattered edges. Here's this hood. that weird freaking taper yeah. it just you can tell when it's when when something feels right when it doesn't you know if you use you use something long enough and you get used to it and you can tell when it's off i i know immediately uh when one of my airbrushes is not spraying the way it's supposed to because i spent so much time um feeling it when it was when it was working the way it was supposed to uh, and, you know, the more time that you spend when it's right, you can immediately tell uh, when it's not. I messed with this face quite a bit last night because I'm trying to, to go with, I mean, he's, the, the character has a certain... Um, uh, ethnicity that is going to be probably carried over more in by the uh, by the colorist, but the pencils 
it's not even actually even a matter of that. It's just being able to draw the characters consistently so that they look the same from one panel to the next. I do not know if I'm capturing this right or not, but... Not a lot of babbling. What do we got four six. Yeah, I think it might be time to go spend some quality time with the wife and come back to this at some other point. But I mean, if this thing, if it started feeling the way that I want it to feel right now. Um, probably wouldn't take off. I'm going to have to mess with this at some other point. Yeah, because right now I feel like I'm, 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 I'm like doing pencils over again. And I don't want it to look like that. Let's see. It's like he's wearing a mouthpiece. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that ever, so we're not going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, um, I'm getting into where it's all kind of like jpeg -y and stuff. Maybe my resolution isn't high enough, but... Uh... I don't know. There's got to be some hard, fast rule on this. Guys, you're just going to have to imagine teeth. But, uh, all right, let's see. I'll come back to this. I'm going to come back to this at some other point. I can tell it's just I'm dying inside. But at least there's some black and white down. It's going to be one of those things that I just got to come back to and come back to. And hopefully, um, you know, we learn as, as we go. Um, anyways, you guys have a good rest of the new year. This is... Uh, Dave Webster with Identity Crisis Design, um, the comic artist evolution, and uh, we're just going to evolve later. Talk to you guys.